Morning guys, I'm at work, early. Long story short, we went to bed early last night. Two o'clock rolls around. I roll over and our back door's open. Our bed is in our front room. Um, long story short, my husband loves to watch TV, so we put our bed in our front room. And our room is the front room. I roll over, two o'clock a.m., my back door's open. I tell my husband, hey, the back door's open. He gets up and he goes in the kitchen and he stops dead in front of our washer and dryer. And I'm like, what's, what's he doing? And he said, babe, there's somebody in our house. He turns around, flips the kitchen light on. I jump up and all this woman said to him was, hi. He was like, I'm gonna ask you to leave my house. And she's like, oh, it was raining. I got caught out in the rain. I'm so sorry. I just wanted to come in and get warm. Our first instinct was we told her to get the fuck out of our house. Sorry for the foul language. But then I felt bad. What if this girl just needed somewhere safe? I'm mad. I'm scared. I don't know what to think. I've never had to worry about sleeping at night. I've always felt safe. Even my husband said last night after the incident that he didn't feel safe. What is our world coming to when you cannot go to bed and worry about somebody breaking in your house? She didn't look like she was trying to take anything, but it was weird. You know what I'm saying? She had a tank top on, a pair of bed pants, no shoes, and a pair of socks. Twice this has happened. In the last week, our door has been open like that at night. I don't, I, I don't know what to think. I, I'm, I'm hurt for her if she was homeless and had nowhere to go because we threw her out. But I'm also mad that I have to worry about my kids at night. I already have bad enough panic attacks. Now I have to tell myself that was just a freak incident. Nothing's going to happen. You can go to bed. In the comments below, tell me what you guys would have done at that moment. Because I feel like I'm a bad person. I feel like that I should have let that woman stay in my house. But I don't know her. I don't know if she was on drugs. I don't know if she was case in my house for somebody to come in and rob us. In the comments below, tell me what you guys would have done so I don't feel such a bad person for making her leave.